All along the Gulf Coast, you will find saltwater marshes just like these. They serve as a barrier keeping many pollutants from washing from the land into the Gulf of Mexico. Another ecologically important role that they play is that they're nursery habitats, nursery grounds for many of our commercially important uh, fish um, um, and seafood. So a lot of species are going to be spending part of their life in the marsh systems before they migrate offshore or they migrate up the river. But the marshes are in jeopardy because of the deep water horizon oil spill. And that's a problem that University of Alabama researcher Dr. Bezad Mordazavi is trying to solve. Marsh systems tend to be, as you can see, uh, relatively protected areas. There's not a lot of wave action. And um, the, the, the reason we focused on the marsh systems is because once we get to the, uh, once the oil is going to uh, reach the marsh ecosystem, is going to uh, pretty much stay there. And uh, it's going to be, um, there aren't many options as far as cleaning up a marsh ecosystem once it's been impacted by the oil. Thanks to a rapid research grant from the National Science Foundation, Murazavi is studying bioremediation in the marshes. That's where naturally occurring microbes that live in the sediment of the sea floor break down foreign contaminants like oil. There are resident microbial communities out here that actually are capable of degrading the oil. In the Gulf of Mexico, we have a lot of natural seeps that emit hydrocarbons to the environment. And um, um, usually when we look for these uh, microbial communities that are capable of degrading the oil, we find them anywhere we look for them. By taking samples from the marshes and studying them in a lab on the University of Alabama campus, Dr. Mordazavi and his colleague, Dr. Patricia Sobecki, are focusing on finding ways to help the naturally occurring microbes break down the oil quicker, therefore reducing its effect on the Gulf Coast. We plan on using um, materials that are uh, naturally occurring in these environments, like fish, vegetation, um, and turning them into a form that is uh, available for uh, the microbial community. So, um, in a sense, you know, it's like giving the marsh a, a vitamin, you know, a, a super vitamin, and um, uh, hoping to kickstart the process of uh, degradation of the oil and letting Mother Nature do what it does, but at a faster rate. Dr. Mordazavi will continue to take samples from marshes all along the coast for the next year as he looks for a solution to stop the effects of the oil contamination. It's just another way University of Alabama researchers are touching lives.